Now, at this stage, let me quickly go through the next part. Although it is called properties of fluid, it is essentially introduction to steam tables and van der Waals gases. I will not uh, spend time on this because this is one part I think uh, for which you are perfectly on your home grounds. Because most of you have taught not only thermodynamics, but I am sure you have taught energy conversion, steam power plants and so on. So, you would have used uh, uh, steam tables the way a high, good high school science student uses lock tables. So, uh, one exercise I would like you to do is the following. Uh, I had asked you to have with you the steam tables which you use in your institute. I hope you have them with you. I have given you, I think all of you will have a copy of this steam table now. Uh, so, just spend some time, not immediately, uh, but say today evening, comparing the two, not value for value, that is not an issue, the values will be slightly different, but check for uh, whether what is the range of pressure temperature explored in this steam tables, what is the range of pressure temperature explored in that table. You will find that in this table, the compressed liquid state or the subcooled liquid state okay, is not very nicely presented. If you come to table 3, superheated steam table, say come to page 11, you will notice that there are blanks for the 50 degree C and 100 degree C columns. These blanks exist because if you say you take 100 degree C and 1.5 bar, we know that at 100 degree C and 1.5 bar, the steam will not be superheated. It will be subcooled water or compressed water. If you look at it from the pressure point of view, at 1.5 bar, the saturation temperature is 111.4 Celsius. So, at 100 degree C, it will be subcooled water or if you look at 50 degree C, at 50 degree C, the saturation temperature, if you look up, is 0.1235 bar. So, at 1.5 bar, it is compressed liquid or subcooled liquid they could have tabulated those properties here. There are other tables where those are tabulated, but here they are not tabulated. But you come to page 18, you have the uh, tabulation in a different format and in a very crude tabulation, compressed liquid water and you have 6 blocks at different pressures of 50 bar, 100 bar up to 500 bar and in each block the four properties V, U, H and S are tabulated as a function of temperature. Again, you will see there are blanks at the bottom where it will not be compressed liquid, but it will be superheated vapor. See in what way your table is different and uh, if you have any issues with your table or this table, we will discuss that. I am not claiming this is a uh, the table to use, but we find that it is a most convenient table to use. How many of you use this table at your institute? Are there uh, earlier participants or coordinators here? I think that was done, right? So, shall we follow the same model this time? Because while solving problems, everybody is at a uniform thing. Okay? And uh, if uh, a few of you who compare this, and uh, find out that your uh, steam table different from this is better than this in some significant aspect. Do let me know tomorrow, because we are open for replacing this by something else provided it is definitely better in some aspects.
see UHD is just an additional information you know in uh, I tell my students that look U and H need not be given together they are given for convenience. I, if I remove all H values from here, but give U values everywhere, well, it will be inconvenient, but I can always determine H by saying U plus P. Okay. Now, we have some 5 minutes for, uh, so I assume that 8 is done and along with 8, uh, properties of fluids, the first law part 2, that is page 5, page 6 page 7. These are recommended exercises, not to be done immediately today evening, but you should confidently be able to solve all these exercises before the main thing starts. Okay. Uh, correspond with each other and uh, get that thing done.